Okay, so... The dungeon has loaded. Uh, which means that I just have to find it here. So many places I didn't know existed looking through all the locations. Hag Rock Redoubt. Hag's End. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Jafat's Folly. Kilcreath Ruins? I don't think I've been to Kilcreath Ruins. Uh, let's see what else we have. Malin Varen Voice Cell? Mayrun's Dagon Voice Cell. I don't remember anything like that. Man, lots of places. But we are not doing any of these. We are going back to Lokir's Tomb. Uh, where we will be continuing exactly where we left off. It's kind of exciting, really, uh, considering how far we are actually getting with it. can switch over to the creation kit view. Hey. Um, turn the FX off. So yeah, we have our main room here. And let's see, we have our second room. We've spent a lot of time on these two rooms. Uh, we still have to want. And actually, one thing that I've sort of really wanted to um, actually practice is you, if you know those dungeons that have. What is it? It's the dungeons that have, like. You find it in Bleak Falls Barrow, actually where it goes up that wooden staircase against the wall, and then they have those wooden panels that separate the rest of, or they just kind of hide some things. I, I kind of want to work with that, because I'm curious how that actually gets implemented. It has to be a large... In fact, what I think we could do is... Let's go. Is it in Bleak Falls Temple or Bleak Falls Sanctum? Oh, no. Um, let's go with, oh, what part of the dungeon is it in? I'm going to, I think it's, I think it's the first part. Kava, hey, how's it going? Good to see you. Good to see you. Um, welcome, welcome. Uh, yeah, look how much detail goes into these things. My God. All these just... What is this big pink box? What is the big orange box? What are all these little boxes? Oh, uh, well, I know what this orange box is. Let's just zoom in over here. Yeah. Oh, God. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. What is this box? Default WI comment. Default WI comment. Is that... Because this is right after you... Default... Is that... Does that trigger the blades, maybe? Maybe? Look at all the detail, though. Just... All the stuff going on in these dungeons. How do they populate... Because this is just a straight corridor. I tried to learn, had no luck. It's actually... I'm going to be honest, I have been having so much fun doing this kind of stuff. Really. And I'm not I'm not saying that, like, ironically or... Alright, so you're just literally two rubble piles. So what I'm doing right now is I'm taking a look at Bleak Falls Barrow. What are you... Wow, look how creative they got with these. These are just the... the just dragon statues, and they just decided, oh, let's stick a bunch of them together, and then... FX fires. Yeah, look at that. Look how smart that is. Or just a piece of rubble. A piece of rubble. Let me know if the music is too loud. Um, because that's something I always mess up is balancing the audio. Uh, just a bunch of vines here. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's it's not easy, and it depends on what you want to do. Like, for example, I've really been... What is this piece? Ruins Sconce Base. So this is actually good to know, so that I just know. And you could see, like, look at all the raised floors. They just use them everywhere. These raised floors here. Um, like, if you want to do, you know, level design, or if you want to do... Uh, interior design or if you want to do like just you know maybe just modeling the interiors of houses that sort of thing um so here they just had a brazier a couple knocked over pots and but what i really wanted to look at was yeah what okay so these are in august i joined the arcane university to th join 3d modeling in hopes of joining beyond sky and Cyrodiil. i didn't get far <laughs> No, I don't, I don't, it's, it's definitely, I guess it's something you really have to kind of be interested in too, like you, you, it's not sort of just a straightforward, oh, I'm going to do this, um, because I think it's probably a lot more involved than people might think, um, 3D modeling is, is very unique though, 3D modeling is hard, <laughs> it's not like this, this is actually fairly simple, all things considered, um, to explain it very easily, actually, you just have these... Not that. I can't grab it because this giant pink box is in the way. I don't know how to get rid of the... I don't actually don't know how to hide the pink box. I think it's just... Yeah, there we go. Um, it's just literally just like, oh, we have all these tiles. Like, okay, stick them all together. And then you make a room. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and try to undo literally everything. That I've done. I don't know how many things I played around with, so just gonna keep mashing the control Z. 3D modeling is, is a whole beast of its own though. I think that's all I could do. Yeah, I think I've undid everything. Okay, so I wanted to see how so they just genuinely took the large tile set. Um, what are these? Are these part of these rafters here? Okay, those are just part of the walls. Interesting. And then they put a corner to shape the room differently. What are these pieces? These are Nor Pit Core in L Enclosure 01. Okay. Let's hide you for a second. What are these being? What are you? Nor Pit Corner in. So these are pit pieces, and I guess the way to think about it is you're not actually making a pit, but you are, cons you, it's not like a real pit, I guess the way to look at a room like this, but you would consider it to be like this bottom floor is the pit, right? Um, so I think that's kind of the way to look at it. You are Nor, Nor Bridge Mid-04. Um... Trap oil pool, if you wanted to put oil pools on the floor. Nor pit corner. And what are these tiles? Well, you're just the normal floor, but you are... Okay, so these are just normal floor tiles, which is good to note. Um... Uh, Kava, would you ever consider trying anything else in the creation kit besides 3D modeling? Like, for example, doing interiors or level design or even making landscapes and stuff like that. That's a really important job as well to make. It's... You know, it's, it's not as easy as you think to make a, a landscape that's really interesting and engaging and detailed. Uh, would you ever consider trying something like that? Okay, so if you wanted to make... Maybe one day. I tried. Maybe one day. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. I think it's I think it's worth for a lot of people to try. It's fun for me because it, it, it's kind of like making a game, but you don't need to... For example, I tried Unity for a week. I guess the best equivalency. I tried Unity for maybe a week. And I really wanted to try, uh, to, you know, put in the effort. And I just, I, I could, it wasn't going to happen. <laughs> it just was not going to happen. So uh, I realized, hey, you know, I could mod something like Skyrim. And it's going to be a lot better. Because I already have the assets instead of having to code and make them myself. Draugr Missile Mail Hold. Okay, so we could put down these markers. Uh, and this will spawn a leveled enemy. Level, yes, level Draugr melee helmet two-handed. Um, level Draugr ambush. 
So that's interesting because we don't actually, although if we put our markers back, yeah, there we go. Now we can see, I don't know how, so I don't know yet how these interact with one another. Um, default activate. Yeah, so this big blue square is like the activation. So you walk in here and then it says, okay, Draugr pop out. Uh, but let's see. So that's the trigger. Let's hide you for a second. We have Dragon Priest Coffin Marker. Dragon Priest Coffin Marker, but then we also have Draugr Level Ambush. And then what is this square? Oh, you're part of the same thing. Okay, gotcha. Um, what is this blue? Patrol Marker. Draugr Two-Handed. And... FX rolling fog. FX rolling fog. Pit. Cave wind. Okay. So we're, right now I'm just looking at how this was done. Um, FX camera attach. Yeah, I don't know how to do anything like the camera stuff yet either. Uh, that We're not up to that. But this is good to know. How this is all done. Where are these tiles? Nord Hall of Stories Arch. And then they transition to the cave. Which is really, really impressive how this is done. Okay. So let's just control Z everything again. And then... <laughs> I almost feel bad looking at something like this and then going back to my dungeon. But hey, it's my first time modding anything, so... You know what? I'm pretty proud of myself. One thing I have to learn how to do. These are, well, those are just black panels. But one thing Bethesda does, you can't see it here. But those those scenes where like you could see through the ceiling and see outside. I need to learn how to do that. For the time being though, I think I control Z, control Z as much as I could. So we're going to go back to my dungeon that I've made. Where are you? Lokir's tomb. And I really like that they this what dungeon is this? That one we were just looking at was actually Bleak Falls Barrow. Um, that was the second part of Bleak Falls Bow, and I just wanted to look at it to see what pieces they use, because one thing I, I found is a really good learning tool, is you have all these on the bottom, and you could just go to any dungeon you want. <laughs> um, hell, you could even go to houses, right? So let's see, like, uh, Hunting Brew Meadery. We could load into Hunting Brew Meadery, and you could see how that's done. Boom. And we see, okay, here's the metery, and we could see, you know, what tile sets do they use here. Oh, this is White Run Interior Floor Mid-01. Okay, cool. Um, what about the walls? Uh, we have White Run Interior Free Walls, you know. You can see here it gets a little bit crazy. This is Hunting Brew. Um, oh, look, there's chests under the floor. What are... Oh, interesting. This is Thieves Guild Fence Malice. This is Malice's chest. Merchant Homing Brew Chest. We could see what might be inside it. Vendor Gold Inn, Item Food Common. So they just some common food. And then this one is... Post... Merchant Hunting Brew Post Chest. Don't, not too sure. Oh, I mean, which mead do I prefer? You know, I'm, I've am i always been more of a hunting brew guy myself. Blackbriar, watered down. It's kind of, eh. Unless you get that Blackbriar reserve, then that, that is something. But, you know, not willing to shell out that pretty penny for something that expensive. Look at all these markers. It's all just things telling people can sit down, wear, and do whatever. Marker heading. Captain Art Mead. Yeah, these are all, like, for the scripted scenes when he comes in to taste the mead. Sweet roll. Okay. Let's go back to... And then we could even do... Can I look at... I don't know how to do exteriors yet. 
See, interiors, we literally just have this, and then there's some specific ones that are really, really niche. Uh, test snow Tamriel, maybe? No? Oh, there we go. Okay, okay, so here's... We could load into the cells in Tamriel, of which, my god, there's a lot. I shouldn't be surprised by that, but... Let's say Swindler's Den exterior. I've never actually looked at this. Hey, I have to leave, but had some friends who want to play Phasma before. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for stopping by. It was great chatting with you again. Um, and I, I, I'm I, going to probably by at least Sunday, I'm going to release a actual stream calendar. I'm not going to just be modding uh, dungeons, but I'll actually start doing some games. So if you have any suggestions, please throw them my way. Uh, I would love to hear them. I need ideas. Yeah, take care of yourself. Be well. Have a great night. So I wonder if I go over here. Oh, okay, it does render in. Interesting. So you can just go through the whole world. What are you? Pickaxe. Mining floor marker. So that someone can just mine there. <laughs> Interesting. I haven't done exteriors yet, so this is all uncharted territory for me looking at all this stuff. What are you? Decal blood spray. Oh, they really are just arrows. Wow, I was having trouble getting these to work properly. Okay, let's 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 go back to our tomb. Uh, I will soon try to work on an exterior location, just play around with the tools and the landscaping and such. Um, eventually, but for now, we're just going to stick with our dungeon. Uh, and I did want to, I guess. <sighs> If I extended this, maybe? Instead of making it- but I already have that there. Maybe just do another one, I think? I think I'll just do another... Kind of- maybe... Maybe do, like, an exit in this corner here. What the heck are you? FX drips? Oh, wow, you are... You are big. Okay. <laughs> um, maybe just do a doorway in this corner so we could lead off here and keep practicing with those with those wooden, the pit, pit tiles. Um, for now, I wanted to try getting the decal to work right because I was actually having trouble with... Who was I trying to do it on? Yes, these, these burn bodies. So, if I just search... Not responding. The creation kit, am I right? <laughs> Cheers. Uh, decal, frost blast, flame burn.
flame burn placed, flame burn placed large. Okay, let's do... How does that look? Oh, you are just a single... Okay, so let's get rid of you, and let's do placed large. And we'll angle you that way, and then... Oh, there we go. Oh, I see why it has that going on. Okay, because it's the body, duh. The the decals are genuinely going on the body. So if I wanted to um, get it on the wall too, I'd have to do it like that, I guess. And then maybe scale it up. No, but you were too tiny, so we want that one, maybe? See, that just looks weird though, right? You're getting... Maybe this has to go... You're like, why am I just getting an angular line? I guess it really wants to be more like that. Makes sense, and it does look a lot better that way, instead of trying to angle it in a fancy way. There we go. That's good. Got the decals working. Okay, so now if I did... Okay, that looks good. Uh, what did we want to do? We want to start working on this. Actually, you know what? Let's do, instead of closing this off, let us... Let's go into that big room here, I think, you know? I think that'd be good. Alright, um... So right now we want to go to, let's close magic, let's go to world objects, static. Let's minimize the clutter. Pits. Platform. Big rooms. Where's big rooms? I see small rooms. Big rooms, there we go. Big halls. Big rooms. Oh wait, but first we need...
Okay, cool. And that is an exit, but that's not the piece we were looking for, actually. Um, yeah, that's what we were looking for. Okay, cool. And then we want big halls, big rooms, excuse me. And let's do front. Oh wait, first we need, duh. First we need an exit piece to connect to this exit piece. You know what? No, I think that's how I did this other one, isn't it? So yeah, so yeah, 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 okay. So we want to do... We don't want the height, we want the regular. Okay. Is that lined up? Not quite. Now it is. Nope, not quite. Now it is. Cool. Uh, and let's get ourselves some walls. So this is going to be front. Where's front? Front? Oh, wait. This is exit? Oh, let's just do that one. Okay, and let's just make the room first, I think. Uh, and I kind of want to do what they had going on in Bleak Falls Barrow, where they curved around a bit, instead of just kind of being a square room. They had it go, like, kind of rectangular, and then it went kind of like that-ish. So that's what I want to try to emulate. So we're going to start by just doing... I think we'll even just put a wall right off the bat. So if we did a corner here. And a corner here. not oh, I guess you need the corners technically uh, otherwise it would have just said what if we just went straight um, and then we need side right we need side corner out corner in wall side exit wall side exit wall side ice wall side damaged sure
and one thing that I'm going to be doing actually with this video in particular and, and henceforth, I'm not going to do it with the old ones, but I'm actually going to be uploading this to YouTube. It's not going to be edited or anything. It's going to be, you know, pretty, pretty basic as far as uploads go. Just downloading the VOD from Twitch and putting it up. But I think that um, it's, it's going to be nice to upload something, even though I don't expect many people will watch a video on demand of something like this uh, on YouTube. But it'll be nice to put something up again. Especially just because how slow I work, you know, lining up the tiles and everything. I'm not very quick at it at all, uh, by any means. Okay, so that's that's good. Now I wanted to work on getting that corner, so we could do, for example, corner out right, right. Wrong. <laughs> uh, duh, because this is technically the left side, isn't it? Corner. Oh, that's also corner in, I think. Corner out left. This is. Yeah, you gotta reverse everything. Duh. Alright, how are you supposed to go? Oh, dear lord. Okay. Uh, how do you actually go? Like, like that? No, because then. Has to be like that, right? Yeah, 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 okay, and then you would just do, would it be, a, now would it be a front, it would have to be like a front piece, right? Front piece goes that way. Because this, these are fronts, these are sides, so these would be fronts again, I think. So now would this be an in piece? If I wanted the whole room to go that way, I believe so. Uh, look, we are evolving. We're we are evolving from just simple rectangles. You see, you see how easy this is. You just gotta experiment a bit. You gotta play around. Um, so now the whole room is actually gonna curve off that way. I guess I probably need to do at least one more wall, though, don't I? Uh, so if I just kind of duplicate you and then flip you around. And then put the corner in. Yeah, I like that. Line you up a bit better. See, look, already making progress. Starting from... Where's my other... This big room right here? This is where I started. Literal, literal simple square. To now we're doing something bigger. Yeah, isn't that neat? I know it's not actually bigger. It's literally just going around a corner, but... Shut up. <laughs> We're experimenting. Alright, so let's do... I think this is going to be front. We're not going to do exit wall front. Uh, let's get some floor pieces. Floor mid zero one. What do we got going on here? Ah, uh, look at that. Boop. There we go. And let's duplicate you. Move you over there. Cool. And... 
Let's duplicate you one more time and kind of put you in the center here. A little bit more. Mm. It's going to be like a about there, I think. Yeah, it should be there. So now we have those three columns, which should be good. And I think 0, 2 is just... Oh, this is one of my favorites. So this is the Elder Scrolls Online soundtrack. But this is actually kind of a rendition of a song from Oblivion. I don't know the name of the song. Um, probably should. I've listened to it so many times. But it's one of my favorite tracks in the Oblivion soundtrack. Oblivion soundtrack is actually one of my favorite. Um, significantly, I like it significantly better than the Skyrim one, if I'm being completely honest with myself. Uh, it's just something about it. It sounds not just more peaceful, but it, it, it gives me more of that fantasy vibe to it, you know? Uh, and, and I just kind of like it for that reason too. Might be best to actually be rid of the columns. Or you know what, maybe... Here, I have an idea. We will get rid of that piece. We'll move you. No, not that way. That way. Come on, work with me. There we go. And we'll get rid of you. Uh, and we'll duplicate and move you here. Duplicate, move you there. Um... This way it keeps it in the center of the room, and I'm actually thinking, get rid of this. Because what I want to do is I want to put those pit tiles. I want to practice using those pit tiles. So, actually, this isn't the curve that I actually wanted, is it? I mean, it will curve, but it's not like... Maybe if I did it one shorter. Put the corner there. It's just not kind of having the effect I want. It looks too blockish for me, for my taste. So if I got rid of all of these, moved you over. I know it's just too square still. I'm not I'm not really happy with it. I know. Okay, what if we replace... So let's replace you. I think. And we'll take... We'll duplicate this and move it over. Because that that big kind of broken piece was technically two. Two tiles wide. So I'm thinking, what if we actually start the curve on this side much sooner? Um, and even have it curve more. So it kind of... Or rather, okay, let's... Let's try that. But then we'll duplicate you again, I'm thinking. Yeah, maybe. Because that way it's not like a, just a round... Uh, or a square chamber, excuse me. And then if we did, like, maybe... Although this is going to make... Let's get rid of you. I think you're going to make the pit sets a little bit hard with that one. Not you. I just don't want it to look like every Minecraft house I've ever made. <laughs> Four squares and a door. Four walls and a door, excuse me. Mm. Let's 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 keep let's keep going with this wall over here. Let's do front zero one, yeah. And I'm even thinking maybe it's it's worth taking a look back at 
how Bleak Falls Barrow did it to get that shape. If they can maybe just put the wall here. So instead of having... Pinky out. And these would all be wall pieces. This might be a corner out piece here, maybe. So if we did corner out left. Followed by, what would it be? Oh, fr uh, 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 your side, so front. Front. Okay, you know what I'm thinking now, though? I'm thinking this is good, but what if we did like instead of kind of rounding it off to go that direction, if we just rounded the corner to go this direction now to give it kind of uh, it, it would almost and then maybe go like kind of boom, boom and boom or like even boom, boom, boom. So it's kind of like ah uh, I like that I like that a lot actually so we'll have kind of a empty space here um, but if we so it'll be like gray gap about like here ish and then the the room itself would come here and connect like that okay yeah that way we have at least a unique shape to it um, as opposed to just being a block I think if I went this way it kind of would still feel it, it lost it because I, I made obviously I made it more like an oval now um, <laughs> Or rectangle rather than square, but Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. So if we did another out corner, I think. Out left. In, out. And then this would be corner in. Uh, corner in. Oh my god, I don't know what corners to use anymore. Left, right, up, down, center, backwards. Uh, so what would this piece be? That piece would have to be a corner as well. So I guess I'd probably have to do it like that, actually. Uh, and you would might go something like there, right? I'm thinking we're going to have to go in game and make sure that all of this actually doesn't have any like gaps or anything like that. Um, but it really is best to test that in game. Okay. Okay. So now I th may, we probably actually want to have like, 
Uh, how do we want to do this? Because I do want to have a gap here. So we need... Okay, so we need at least one more. This is going to be a side piece. Uh, and let's do the broken side, actually, here. Yeah, let's do the broken side. You know, let's do the normal side for now. Let's do the normal side for now, because I do want to play with the pit. I don't know if the broken wall will mess up the pit at all. Um, the pit pieces, which are those kind of rafters going on. So we're going to we're gonna stick with it, the, the regulars. In the future, we'll play with it um, a little bit differently, but... Ugh. Got a fuzz on my tongue. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Uh, let's see. What are we looking for? What are we looking for? What are we looking for? Side, 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 side. That's right. Side zero one. Because we want to build some space between. Perfect. And uh, I don't know. One more, maybe? One more? See, I think this. Yeah, I do think one more. But the question is, should this turn into a corner so soon? But you can already see that this is a much more dynamic looking kind of space than what it was when I first put it together. But I think I need to at least do move you over. Um... Hmm. I would like to try something. What if I took... Oh, look at this! A whole new level of creative thinking. Okay, match. Can you stop flipping? You know which way. You definitely know which way I want you to go. All right, let's put you out here. You're, I think you're trying to snap a bit too much. There we go. Like that. And one more. Oh, you're not. There we go. No, come on. There we go. Look at that. Nobody has ever thought that smart before. <laughs> uh, no, Bethesda has. Um, and probably literally everybody else who's ever made a mod. But... Oh... That might create a... an issue? Not if we put you there and duplicate you once. And I think maybe get rid of ye get rid of you. Yeah. And then we going we we are going to want excuse me we're going to want front pieces again. So let's do front zero one if we could find it. Front zero one. Front zero one. Great. Yeah, look at that. So now you actually kind of meander a bit. Um, a bit. He's just a corner. 
But I'm even thinking if you really wanted to expand this, maybe instead of putting the corner here, actually what could be pretty neat for this room is if it were more like a throne room, actually. Um, and if you got rid of... You sort of made it symmetrical, so we could genuinely just, I think, kind of... It's going to be really hard to grab the pieces I want, I think. Um, but if we just got that, I believe, and then rotated you like this, like so, uh, and actually put you where I started building this, and then what I'm thinking is you kind of have these two hallways, and then there's obviously that gap in the middle, uh, and then like a throne at the front of it. Uh, I think could be pretty, pretty cool of a concept. So, I don't know, I, I, I'd rather just kind of build it all from scratch, to be honest, instead of trying to duplicate it, because it might get a little bit messy that way. I'm sure it could save some time, but let's get that back. Yeah. Ooh, got the hiccups. <gasps> I don't know if that actually helps the hiccups, holding your breath. Or if it's just a placebo. Placebo! Okay. Not too shabby. Not exactly what I had in mind, but, um, you know, it's, it's something. I'm actually thinking now instead of doing that throne idea just kind of i'm thinking Bear with me, I, I'm just trying to think a little bit more creatively as opposed to just sort of these, these straight... I don't know why I played with the verticality of that, it was already perfect. Um...
What if I did... I think now I kind of want that extra... Uh, th that extra... Uh... Oh, I deleted the wrong piece, I think. Well, let's just get rid of that one just to be... Yeah, so I would move this down as well. Oh, you go away, window. Boop, bye-bye. Yeah, more like that. And then let's get rid of you for now. You need to be a wall piece. Uh, you're gonna be a front. So I think I could, yeah, I could duplicate you. Bop, bop. Ooh, I have so many ideas of like, how can this be laid out? And I just like, oh, what if I try designing it this way? And what if I try designing it this way? And like, now I'm thinking, what if I had, for example, like, because this kind of makes this a, a narrow passageway, but I'm like, oh, what if I spread it out more and then that way I could maybe build it out in such a formation that would have, if, if I wanted to elevate it from both sides, so you kind of were walking through a cavern almost. Um, so many things I want to try. But we're going to stick with this for now. I think this actually might work to my detriment, this really narrow passageway. Uh... And regardless, because if I wanted to do these rafter tiles, I think they're going to take just an extra space. Um, so it might be worthwhile to actually, if I could just select all of these, right? Move them over here for now. And select what I want. I want all of these. Come on. and move them back a tile set, which means we also need to put the corner earlier. Because again, and I don't know how these rafters work, but I'm assuming that they're going to need their own space in order to hang over. And if you just, ha although if you just had one, would they sort of meet in the middle? And make an actual bridge because that could be cool let's all right let's let's stick with what i had before for now um in fact you know what no let's just let's just close this off for now let's just round this corner out and then we'll start playing with the rafters um i could go a little bit farther probably but just because i'm excited to kind of test and play around a bit with those tile sets. Uh, yeah, that lines up. Okay. And I just need that deleted. And... I could easily push this back. Uh, something's fishy here. Ah, oh, there it is. Well, something was off. Um, 
All right, we'll get rid of the, that column for now. Let's just get a normal floor pieces over here. Okay, so we have our room. Oh, we have a duplicate over here. Go away, duplicate. All right, we got our room. Much more interesting than a simple rectangle that we had before. Uh, now, the pieces that we want to play with are going to be in pits. And this, I don't know exactly how they work yet. So, pit wall, I'm assuming, is just going to be... Ah, uh, Okay. So, would I just... Uh, oh, okay, so you are literally your own, so I was put in all these walls, and I shouldn't have been. Although I guess it's good because this kind of gives me the general layout. So what were you? You were front, so I wouldn't even be putting you there. Okay, what's front to room B, front to room B? BG corner uh, enclosure okay that's if you just wanted to put those walls down um, front to room BG side front to room BG side L enclosure so do you literally just go, which side is straight for you, or f which side is the front for you, actually? Is that right? Am, am I using that right? I don't know. Uh, okay. So your front, I need, oh, I did want side pieces, didn't I? Okay, so yeah, it's, I guess it's good because then you have, like, kind of the general layout done and you could replace them with the pits. Um, the pit pieces, excuse me. So if I delete... You get out of here, Stinky. And we did side. Side zero two. Oh, why are you an exit? <laughs> why are you like that? So do you have to design the chamber with the walls first then? Are they meant to only go next to um, other pit pieces? So if I did side zero one, for example. Because I'm worried they're all going to have sort of that corner now. So what would I just do? So now I definitely need a corner here. No, I need a corner there first. So uh, 
uh, nor pick corner out. Yes. Out zero one. Side R E E and C. No, not you. Um, like, what are you used for then? You're an in corner. You're also an in corner. I'll play with you when I get to that part. Uh, right now, I need out. So I don't think that does it because it's not it's not um like it's all these bumps it's not a solid walkway so it's kind of How are you supposed to do this? The stairs going up, which is great. Then you have this bump here, which makes me think it's not right. So... Although that's part of it. Is it just something I've never noticed? I don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm just playing around a bit. Um, I just wanted to see what that would <laughs> what that would amount to. I don't know why I expected anything different, but it would be cool if you had kind of the two coming out and then a pathway down the middle. Um, just thinking ahead for a few trades. But anyway, goodbye. Uh, Is it, is it, so if I'm thinking maybe mid? No, 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 you're definitely, you're just a normal one. Corner out enclosure. Yeah, so I'm thinking let's, let's save this here. And then we'll take another look into Bleak Falls Barrow. See exactly what was done there. And if I'm just going a little bit crazy, which, yeah, I am. That's how it always was. Look at that. I never 
ever realize that. I thought it was just, it's, it's, it's like, um, what's the name of it? Uh, I was just looking at a video of it too. The thing where you where you are convinced it, it it's it's something different than it's always been, like I like the uh, Monopoly guy having a monocle, or or the uh, Mandela effect. Mandela effect had some Mandela effect going on because I always thought that this was just a solid uh, thing of just wood planks, and it's not. It's not at all. So this actually, while I'm here though, this is core in. I want to see if they did they use by any chance anywhere those kind of weird I like how they actually designed this pit oh wait how'd they do this room this is kind of a cool shape Just all corners, huh? And how'd they do this one? Oh, that's room big to side. Uh, front to room big side. Got it. Literal corners. Literal corners where you're going from a front piece to a side piece. So if you have it, all the Nordic tile sets, like, if you're doing it, they're all perpendicular, right? If you're doing them squares. This this whole wall would always be front pieces. This whole wall would always be side pieces. And if you want to connect those two front to side piece to blend them in instead of just using the default corner. Um, and I think maybe, because this is, yeah, side to room front, um, and you're a corner, uh, versus, like, if it's just a normal corner, um, if you're going around a bend from... Because obviously there's there's floor behind this. Um, so if you're going kind of the interior part of the pit, then you use the normal corners. But if you're going from a wall to a wall, uh, which I, I guess this kind of is, then it's different. And it's cool because then you could actually... What is this piece? Nor plat wall stairs. And what is this? Nor plat mid. Nor plat corner out. Because these are the kinds of pieces that I need to start learning. These these are really some important ones. Nor room side zero two. Plat. Where's plat? What is it under? Oh, platforms. Duh. Because learning all these other pieces are kind of what really, really sells some of the dungeon. So I also want to go to Bleak Falls Barrow 1 for a second while we're looking at examples. Um, shoot, I modified that. Uh, hold on a second. That's what that little star means. It means changed. So we're just going to mash that control Z. Okay. Hopefully everything's the same. What did I actually change? I looked at some corner pieces here. Um, and I played with that a bit. Everything looks good. I just don't want it to be... 
when I play Skyrim again, I'm gonna run into Bleak Falls Barrow and the floor is gonna be missing. I'll be like, oh my god, what did I do? Let's hide all the markers. So, like, for example, what... That's just the entrance piece, which is interesting in and of itself. But, and you're a platform then? Yeah, you're just a platform in the middle of the floor. Big pillar piece. Nord Temple Hall, big column. Lots of rubble everywhere. Tons of big pieces of rubble. Um... These big statues, braziers. It's all about learning how Bethesda, who does it incredibly well, makes theirs super interesting. Like, look at, just for example, wandering down these hallways for the first time was an interesting experience because you're like, okay, you don't know what to expect. What are these webs? What webs do they use? Web round wall 01 ACT. That's how the small ones that when you walk through, they actually flutter. Um, cave boulder pile. So it's smart to use kind of the regular boulders, which I have not been doing. Boulder. Boulder pile. Platform. Vines everywhere. What are you? Cave wind. Stairs covered in... Just covered in vines. Yeah, they make it much more interesting. Floor, no collision. Which it took me a while to realize what no call, C-O-L, you could see if I click them again. Um, FX dust drop random action. Can I not? Okay, or can I click these ones? Yeah, so right here. Norvine floor 02, no call, no collision. And they just make it really narrow by throwing all this clutter on the ground, too. Webs all over the ceiling make it really interesting as well. Another just l quite literally... I think this is an end piece. Yeah, they literally just stuck an end piece. They didn't even flesh this out, but they made it impassable. So you as the player are kind of subliminally thinking, well, what what might be over there um, and even though there's literally a wall there I remember I still I, I didn't pick up on that I just saw this closed off space and I was like oh crap that whole thing is collapsed you know uh, this is just using to a ramp piece to a stair piece to kind of give it a nice flow of different elevations and then once again really just combining which I have not been doing um, cause I've just been sticking sort of to the ruins pieces, but really combining those, um, the dirt and the cave, which makes sense with the Nordic ruins. Vines, dirt everywhere. Lots of vines, lots of dirt, lots of rubble on the sides. And Bethesda, I 
am now noticing they really go crazy with these pieces, which is just a floor piece. But it makes a lot of difference because it makes the floor look much more rugged, much more worn. It looks, instead of having just that flat floor, um, they use all these elevated pieces to make it look like that was the original floor. This is what's left, um, which is very smart. And this is just platform, plat mid, plat wall. Got to start using those as well. Uh, these are not, I don't want the fog. Nor plat big. Okay, so big platforms. Again, have not looked at the platforms at all. Um, okay, and this is actually interesting because I haven't learned how to make kind of levers know to interact with one another. You could see these two lines very clearly indicate what they're connected to. Um, so I'm curious if I... I don't want the fog. Linked. So where are they linked from? Activate. Okay. So activate parents would be the column if you want to link stuff together so if i wanted to make a secret door say then link active parent so you have nord lever one bfb puzzle door reference um enable parent emittance multi-bound nav mesh options okay that's interesting so let us oh not that Okay, so let us, with that, newfound knowledge of both how the platforms work, the pits, excuse me. I actually don't want to, um, I saved before, so I actually kind of want to close the creation kit just to make sure that nothing gets overwritten, um, because God forbid that would be a disaster. <laughs> Not sure at all how to restore it. Um, but I actually think I could call this a stream as well. We learned quite a bit. Uh, got pretty far. It was definitely a fun uh, little learning session. And I'm looking forward to pursuing some of those new tricks. I, I'm glad that we got a new room done. Uh, even though we didn't do too much, I think it was a bit slower given that I was playing around with the layout and the format but even still doing that little bit makes you you're able to get quicker at it uh doing that little bit allows you to uh figure out you know i was just trying to make a more interesting layout than a cube and as i was doing it, i was like oh what if i try this what if i try this what if i do these things uh and then you look you go back to bleak falls barrow and you see oh there's large plat like for some reason i didn't even think to check the platforms um i was literally just working within the uh the nord big rooms the nord small rooms to make my rooms uh, and I didn't think to look outside of that because I was just trying to work with what I was comfortable with, expand and, and sort of solidify my knowledge with those tiles before I moved on to other ones. Now I'm starting to poke my head out, you know, coming out of my shell like a turtle and looking at all these other ones going, oh, wait, what about this? Oh, look at these things. Look at this. Look at that. Uh, and experiment a little more with different things and then put those in your dungeon. So you'll see, you know. I, 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 a large part of me wants to leave that first large room that we've seen in past streams, uh, leave that alone just because then I could see, okay, this was me experimenting for the very first time. Now we have this second large room that we put together. We put the shape of today and I could look at that and go, Oh, look, look, this is, this is day two. Uh, or this is attempt two after, you know, playing around with more of the small tile sets and, and, and moving back to the big ones, excuse me. So, we could see how that works out. 
and all in all, just keep getting better with every single room. Every single room that you design is going to get better and better, so that's really, really cool. Anyway, I'm going to leave this here. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you're watching this on demand, then hi. I hope you, you tune into the streams, DeMarco Dude on Twitch, and I hope to see some of you next time. So long.